What's up? So first off, your boy copped some sort of mystery illness, not the cope cooties that got tested. So as a result, I'm gonna sound a little bit more nasally than usual, which I'm starting to figure out just makes me sound more like a Canadian. But second off, I considered starting this video with a little intro compilation of all the great soy-laden content that can be found on the internet, but I decided against it for the betterment of your physical and mental health. You're welcome. Instead, we're gonna be microdosing. <laughs> So it's becoming more and more painfully clear that we no longer live in a society of functional, mature adults. There truly no longer exists a separate standard of conduct, one for adults and one for children. Or at least, we as a society are no longer holding other adults to that standard. Like, think of some things that children do that mature adults should have definitely grown out of. Playing dress up, having temper tantrums in public, <laughs> Crying when they don't get their way. Wearing diapers. Playing with stuffed animals. Whatever this is. These are all things that if you saw a kid doing, it would be whatever. But these are full grown adults. Full grown adults. Do you understand the perilous position that we're in right now? Like right now, we are safe in our little isolated fairy tale world where nothing real happens. But what would happen if something real happens? Let's say. Let's just say, let's say the canal fights back, okay? Somehow they've managed to annex the entirety of South America. Now the United States is facing a land invasion from the South. And all the adults, all of the people that we need to rely on are fat, lazy, and wearing diapers. We already have a society full of adults who are utterly incapable of doing everyday ordinary tasks without commemorating their lack of functionality with some tweet about adulting or, in this man's case, with cookies. What would happen if these people had to do something extraordinary? Like stop a land invasion from what is now the Panama Empire. I don't think they would be able to answer the Call of Duty because they're playing Call of Duty. Or they wish they were playing Call of Duty, but instead they're a dad now, so they gotta buy diapers. Specifically, diapers for a child. Because I guess we gotta make that distinction now. But like, bro, you're a dad. Playtime's over. It's time to be an adult, a task that this man is obviously handling with a lot of resistance. But what exactly would these people need as a proper wake-up call to tell them that it's time to start being an adult? Because for this man, having a kid obviously wasn't enough. Like these people, for the most part, they go to work, they pay taxes, they must be feeding themselves. But just because you've managed to keep yourself alive so far, doesn't mean you're actually functional. Surviving is not an achievement when all you gotta do is throw a plastic tray in the microwave and make sure you're not too hungover for your meaningless job the next morning. It's all too easy. We are witnessing the atrophy of man. There are many factors at play here, and we of course are very obviously being chemically castrated by our environment. But the simple fact of the matter is, we let this happen. See, during the transitional stage between child to adult, there needs to be a strict cutoff point where we start holding someone to the adult behavioral standards instead of the child ones, because you can't be a child forever. But if society does not enforce that point, if society doesn't say, okay, you're an adult now, you're not allowed to do kid stuff anymore, then we're gonna continue to end up with these quasi-adults who are truly no use to anyone. <laughs> And that's not to say that adults are never allowed to joke around and have fun ever. You can obviously be immature at times. You just also need to be able to be responsible and handle adult things without having a mental breakdown. But we as a society have stopped enforcing that cutoff point between child to adult with any real effectiveness to the point that that line between being an overgrown kid and being an overgrown child has started to blur because there is a difference. But now, we've let so many overgrown children slip through the cracks, it's getting harder and harder to correct the trajectory of our society, especially considering so much of the cringe, undesirable behavior hides behind computer screens on the internet. And it does this because it's afraid of social pressure. It's afraid of the judgment of others, as it should be. But even if it were to show its face in real life, everyone is entirely too lukewarm and agreeable to express their disapproval anyways. These people, definitely have someone in their lives who should be saying something, but isn't. And it's not like these people who act in these degenerative ways are basing their actions in some set of moral principles and values. No, they're just weak losers who would definitely be heavily influenced by social pressure. All you would really need to do to correct their behavior would just be a couple good rounds of pointing and laughing. What are they gonna do? Stand up for what they believe in? 
They don't believe in anything. They dress up like babies and play with stuffed animals because they're weird. They have public temper tantrums because they have the emotional maturity of a donut. <laughs> and I think they should be bullied for it. Does that make me a bad person? Because we as a society, we get to decide which behaviors are and are not acceptable. We get to decide the kinds of behaviors we accept from the adults by applying social pressure to those who do not meet our standards, which is a very normal thing in human societies. We have been doing this forever. And you've definitely noticed that there's been a lot of preaching of inclusion and acceptance these days. And a lot of preaching that all different lifestyles are equal and good because as I said earlier, these people are scared of social pressure because their actions are not grounded in strength and morality. They are loosely set on a metaphorical pile of sand and gravel, aka weakness and vice. But they've managed to move the benchmark so far that we now celebrate, we now glorify and promote not being a functional adult. Like, wow. She's a lonely, mentally ill loser who gets wine drunk on the weekdays and has several cats that just barely obsessed off the crumbs she leaves on the floor. Wow, what a girl boss. Oh wow, you're so desperate for validation that you'll hook up with any random dating app guy just because he called you pretty. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, queen. I didn't realize you were a boss girl and an empowered feminist. See, they take a behavior that is undesirable and self-destructive and then they make you take pride in it. And we've let them do that. And as a result, it has made our society weaker. So yeah, it's about time we start making adults actually act like adults. So it's what's going to happen if we have to leave LARP land and something real happens, like a southern invasion from the now Panamanian Empire. And we, as functional adults, need to defend our territory like that thing, the one we, the one we weren't supposed to forget. Point being, it's very important that we as a society maintain clear distinctions between adults and children, because if there's no clear point where someone must stop being a child, then there's also no clear point where someone can start being an adult, which means that not only are adults being treated like children, children are being treated like adults. And that one's not funny. So what I'm saying is, forcing the societal standards upon adults and making them act like adults for once and bullying those who fail to meet that standard is actually how you protect the children. Making fun of full grown men who want to play dress up protects kids. Holding adults accountable for their actions makes our society stronger. What if I told you that you could save the West and also possibly prevent a land invasion just by making fun of weirdos who like to play dress up? Has there ever been an easier time to save your country? I don't think so. I, I can't really sing. All you need to know is drag queens are cringe. Yeah, and stop wearing diapers too. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. I apologize for the state of the voice. It is how it is, but thank you for watching. I'll see you later.